You may remember the Caribbean yellowhead jawfish from one of my previous films. The jawfish is an oral brooder, meaning the male will keep the fertilized eggs in its mouth until they hatch to protect them from predation. The fun part to watch him is that he does churning, meaning he spits the ball of eggs and spins it on the top of its lips regularly to both oxygenate them and get rid of the waste. Until hatching, he will rarely deposit the eggs in its burrow, and when it does, it is only for a short time to grab a couple of copepods floating by. When I moved to Indonesia, I met the yellow bear jawfish. So I started to film this guy, expecting to get the same behavior that his cousin, the yellowhead jawfish, that live on the other side of the world. But days after days, I rarely saw the Indonesian jawfish holding the eggs in its mouth and never witnessed the fabulous churning. I started to wonder if it is good for the eggs to be churned in the Caribbean, why would the Indonesian jawfish ignore such a beneficial behavior? Then, as I was filming the yellow bear jawfish, I caught the sight of an extremely slender and delicate shrimp poking out of the burrow. There was my answer. The smart jawfish struck a symbiosis with the slender shrimp offering the protection of its burrow for nanny services. The shrimp tend to the eggs using a slender appendages to keep the eggs oxygenated and get rid of waste, and probably also doing cleaning duty on the jawfish himself. Maybe his Caribbean counterpart should look for a shrimp to make its life easier. I never cease to be amazed by the ingenuity of reef creatures. Another case of cooperation on the reef.